Hi everyone, this is Carlos with the Max Science Support Team and today we are going to be looking at PEXO. PEXO is a tool for precise modeling and fitting for timing, radio velocity, and astrometry data. It takes relativistic effects into account, including Romer, Shapiro, and Einstein delays. It is also capable of model timing to precision of 1 nanosecond, astrometry to a precision of 1 micro arc second, and radio velocity to a precision of 1 micron per second. They provide us with tons of different notebooks. As you can see here, the ones that are in green are ones that I opened up because I was playing with it because it's a really cool and simple tool to use. So we're going to keep this short and sweet. I will show you one demo. Here we are looking for the barycentric radio velocity of a single star. We are going to use Tau Ceti as our example. So the arguments are going to be this HD 10700. That is the ID of Tau Ceti. We're using the harps instrument. We are going, these will be our Julian dates every 10 days. And then we are going to set PEXO mode to emulate. And these will be our output variables, JD, UTC, and ZB. ZB being the barycentric time. So to run this code, all we have to do is feed it this script. So here we are putting in our star, the instrument, our time, the mode, and the output we are looking for. Then you run that. You can scroll all the way down here. And as you can see, it provides with our astrometry information for Tau Ceti. We have our, uh, we have our declination, our right ascension, looks like parallax, radio velocity, epoch, and all that good stuff. It tells us it's going to treat this system as a single star. Perfect. Here it tells us about our timing effects. So for example, as you can see here, it tells us Einstein delay in the solar system is 0 0.001689 seconds, and so on. It gives you tons of information, as well as radio velocity effects. This is super useful. And then for our output, as the output, it gives you this table. So we have our Julian dates and ZB which is the barycentric time expressed as redshift. Now we can also make this plot and what you're seeing here shows the barycentric movement of Tau Ceti in kilometers per second. And it's as simple as that. So that's PEXO. I highly recommend it. It's super useful um, and they provide us with tons of demos to use. And yeah, I was playing with all of them. So y'all have fun using this. Peace.